Hey everybody, I wanted to make a video about our Ford E-Transit uh, that we recently bought. This is the first van that um, we purchased for my um, Mission Digital business and going to be moving the techs from trucks to uh, vans like this and um, decided to go with an E-Transit. It's been working out really good. Um, you know, from the outside other than the E-Transit logo can't really tell if unless you look underneath there's no exhaust and uh, we park it uh, down the street and it charges pretty much for free at the storage place and um, we love it I'm gonna break this up into multiple videos just kind of talk through some of the things that that I've come up with uh, or figured out along the way um, one of the challenges we had was you know getting some help around the upfitting and what we should do there and this kind of being our first van and adding to that there's a battery in the bottom and um, added some complexity so I'm gonna dive into the cab and, and kind of show a few things in there so oddly the floor mats are different in the 2022 e-transit um, they haven't made a set yet from WeatherTech but uh, just got the previous models in here. So we have something on the floor kind of protecting it from the, the beat down we give it. And uh, if you come inside, this here, um, it's pretty much standard with the E-Transit. So, you know, we got uh, CarPlay, all the things, you've got your um, charging features, you can basically tell it what to do at, at each of the uh, locations that you park it if you want to charge it 90 percent uh, on a regular basis but if you bring it to another place um, like home or something like that uh, you can you know tell it to charge at 100 percent um, other than that i mean it pretty much works like a normal transit van um, but do like the big screen really uh, is convenient when you're going into reverse and uh well it's actually charging right now so i can't start it but um if we were you'd see you know pretty massive uh view of the rear uh while backing up anyways um great audio system for being a van sounds pretty good in here isn't too loud um you know in terms of hearing stuff in the back with the bulkhead in place and uh let's go ahead and move into the upfitting on the inside so this being an e-transit um and wanting to upfit it saw several concerns about drilling into the floor and um also read some documentation that said it's okay if you watch for lines and you don't go more than an, an inch um ultimately called around to several websites that sell this stuff even local uh, places in houston that sell and install nobody in houston called me back i don't know what it is with that industry but uh, didn't get a call back after submitting on their websites anyways um realized it probably would be cheaper if i could do it on my own um and so finally i got somebody uh, to kind of talk to me about it in more detail. I called several websites and they were kind of like, just tell us what you want, we'll order it. And um, anyways, I called upfitsupply.com and spoke with Johnny and this guy was awesome. Sat and talked with me for like 30 minutes and um, maybe it wasn't 30 minutes, probably about 20 minutes. And we got it kind of all uh, laid out and in terms of uh, what shells we were gonna, I was gonna put in and what would work um, with the e-transit and so um, these bars up here uh, make it possible so that uh, the shelves are almost uh, sturdy enough to not have to put anything in the ground uh, or in the floor and so um, honestly they weren't moving at all but I went ahead and just put these in and so what this is is I got some L brackets from Home Depot I'll, I'll put them in the description and I used just the stuff that came with um, the shelves and uh, man this thing is solid and it is not going anywhere and I didn't have to drill into the floor there um, 
did that with with all of them and uh, they're not going anywhere uh, worked out really good felt better about not taking any risk going in the in the floor now the bulkhead there's really no way to avoid it um, one thing I learned is do not try to use the blind fastener kit that comes with these things buy uh, buy one that's good it makes all the difference in the world I'll list that in the description as well um, but basically these are top ridges where you know the floor goes up and down these are the tops it doesn't go more than an inch down and uh, this thing is sturdy and then uh, for the van we're still kind of moving back into the van from the trucks um, but these have these worked out really well so we're gonna probably order another one of those uh, self-tapped these brackets that hold the pack out system in place so we could pull these out if we need to we've got kind of our legacy stuff here we're in the process of moving all of our supplies into these we'll see if these work these may not work um, but yeah, and then inventory stuff that we're taking to jobs will, will be here. And yeah, so I'll be documenting this as we go along and uh, updating with more videos. But please subscribe and, and uh, let us know if you have any suggestions. Thanks.